Well, hello and welcome everyone to another riveting episode of, you guessed it, absolutely, positively, I'm your girl, I'm your host, Denny Kay, and I am over the moon excited on this Labor Day weekend, and I am so thankful that you answered that call, that you saw that notification, that you click that link on Facebook to say, what is Denny up to today? What will she be motivating us about? You know what? Thank you. Thank you so much. I mean, so you would do that because I really create this forum for you and, of course, myself. But I am excited as ways uh, to bring you this content, um, and I am Sponsored by the wonderful, wonderful, wonderful Mute Mogul Media Group. So if you have not subscribed, if you have clicked that a link on Instagram, Facebook, social media, and you want to know what's going on, man, you got to click the link and you got to get that notification bell. You got to subscribe so you will not miss a moment of all the wonderful things that Mute Mogul Media Group is up to. Because one of the things is me. Okay, all right. Anyway, <laughs> we have done our housekeeping, um, and now it's time to jump into the quote of the day. So this forum, as I mentioned, is created just for you, right? And why is it created for you? Because we need a little motivation. We need the IEM feels. We need the IEM feels, that IEM energy, and we need that I am life. What is that? If you're just tuning in, the IEM is the inspiration, the encouragement, and the motivation to just get your going going, okay? <laughs> to put the wings, the, the breath, the, the air underneath your wings so you can soar, so you can fly, so you can have that morning cup of coffee without the caffeine, okay? No calories, because all it takes is for you to hit that button, and there you go. That's why this created, this form was created for you because it is important to me to encourage. It's important to me to inspire and it's darn tootin' straight to motivate you. That's what I was born to do. It is my calling. And so I operate in my calling by giving you this content. So anyway, without further ado, let's jump right in. So the way we give you the IEM feels, hashtag IEM life, is by providing some quotes motivational quotes, inspiration quotes that make you go, hmm, where are my, uh, my, my people from the 80s and 90s, make you go, hmm, and make you think, and then I break it down from my perspective in hopes that something will land, a little nugget, a little seed will seep into your spirit and keep you motivated um, to just operate in your, all right, so today's quote comes from a wonderful person who is unknown, but hey, I had to share because that's how I feel about my life. I know, I know, all these quotes are my favorite. I don't know, one of the viewers said, Kayla, excuse me, Diddy K, is, um, are all the quotes your favorite? And I said, absolutely, positively, they are all my favorite. So here's another favorite quote. It's from an unknown author, um, but I just felt like when I read it, I was like, yep, that's the money. That's the ticket. I got to share that with my peeps. Got to share that with my absolutely positively family. And it goes like this. I will not let age change me. I will change the way I age. Woo, 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 woo. Okay. I will not let age change me. I will change the way I age. So, okay. So, I got on my shirt as an example of exactly this point. So, it says fabulous since 1971. And so, of course, this world is all about the indicators, the metrics of what your age is, right? So, okay, you know, by law, you know, you got to be 18 to vote, okay? Uh, by law, you got to be 21. Uh, to drink, okay, and some organizations and clubs have age requirements that you have to be this certain age before, you know, you're able to embark into their wonderful goodness, um, so we are 
um, ruled a bit by age, okay? And so that's okay. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about, do you feel fabulous since 1971? Because I do. And a lot of times people come up to me and they go, wait a minute, wait a minute. First of all, we see you have a five-year-old, so you can't be 50, or they see this gray, and they say you can't be this age, um, but I think it's not just because of what I look like, it's the way I act. I don't act 50, you know, I act the way I'm supposed to, so I do not let age define me, I do not let age depict on how I'm supposed to feel. I just wake up and I don't even assign to an age. I assign to an energy, okay? So this energy that I have happens to be a 50-year-old energy, but I don't operate in that space. I used to work for a medical office and one of the joys of life was to have people come in who were probably in their 60s, 70s, 80s, and literally be upbeat, be on the treadmill, just work for a cardiologist, and on the treadmill, on the table, doing these extraordinary things that your brain told you, wait a minute, a 70 year old shouldn't be doing that. When I think of a 70 year old from when I grew up, you're looking at him on a walker, you know, maybe in a wheelchair, maybe feeble, you know, that, that's brainwashing. And this is what this is saying is to change the brain, unwash the brain and don't let age define you i will change the way that i age i will change my age and the way i age so for me seeing somebody in their 70s um 60s even just define what i think that age should look like just blew me away and gave me the encouragement and motivation to say you know what i, I can change the way i age i can do it but gracefully, I can do it with fun. I can, I can do it with vigor. I, I can do it the way I want to do it because it's all here. It's all in the mind. You know, now back up a little bit. Some of us um, have ailments and illnesses and things that hinder us, it, you know, injuries that hinder us from maybe operating mobily like we want to. Um, in the age that we are so i'm not talking about that because i have seen some people that have been bound wheelchair bound you know walk about whatever but their mind their mind you wouldn't be able to tell or the way they talk or, or how they embrace life still it, it's a mindset and so you can look at those people and glean um inspiration on how they're living their life and how they want to age are you doing everything possible to get every ounce that this life has for you? Are you in a space to receive and enjoy all the things that life has to offer? That's changing the way you age, you know? I like hanging around younger people sometimes. I like a uh, hanging around um, intellectual people. I like to hang around people or be immersed in different things that I would normally do because it is changing the way I age. It's changing the way I believe and, and, and think. It, it's, it's, it's adding more to my integrity and my character and my belief system because I am broadening. I'm opening up my spirit and energy and aging in a way that I deem appropriate for my life. So that is the charge for today. Don't let the age change you change the way you want to age. So I encourage you right now to write down a list. I mean, no, it, it, it's just right now. That's the beautiful thing about it. You can be 50 right now, like me, and decide, you know what? I'm going to change this. You know, I'm going to get out and I've always wanted to just take a walk around the park or, or my neighborhood and, and, and maybe say hello to my neighbors. Um, I, I want to look at the trees in a different way. Sunflowers are my favorite flower, my favorite flower. And one of the beautiful blessings is that I get to see sunflowers in my neighborhood um, and where I'm at. And they, they are a constant reminder for me to just allow uh, all of that atmosphere
atmosphere and that energy from the sun to just imbue me with this wonderful light so that I can just be encouraged and, and, and just bask in the glow of the moment, moment, um, and just everything that's around me. And I feel like it is reversing the aging for me. I mean, you know what I'm saying? I have so many people coming up to me and are mystified, really, when they see all this gray, but then they see this little line and this little Z in my head, and they're like, wait a minute. How do you really, you know, so many people have thought that I have died this because my appearance and my, my spirit and my energy is so different than what they think a 50 year old should be like. And I absolutely adore it. I actually love when people come up to me um, and I wear this shirt and they go, wait a minute, wait a minute. And on the back, it says chapter 50, by the way. So shout out to my girl, Ashley, for this wonderful shirt. Um, uh, Graham Crack, Graham Crack, Graham Cracker Crafting. Sorry about that. All right. So shout out for you, boo. But when people see that on the back is this chapter 50, they're just like, wait a minute, wait a minute. They look at my skin. They look at my energy. They look at me dancing with my kids. They, they see me, you know, just dancing in the street. You know, they see me dancing in my car. They see me just really soaking in all the energy and just using it for whatever I, I want to, just like a sunflower, okay? So, um, and I call that sunflowering. But anyway, um, that's what it is. So just change the way you age and you won't look your age or you won't attach to the age and you won't get kind of sad about your age because one of the things, another thing I want to point out is that there was a time when I thought when I was younger, I got to 50, if I hadn't achieved a certain amount of success or, you know, whatever I put on my bucket list, you know, whether it was having kids or writing my first novel or, you know, going for my doctorate or, or whatever was on that list, I got to 50. I thought, oh, my goodness, you know, that's half over half the life. Man, I, I, you know, 50 is like this defining moment. If I haven't done it, I can't be done. No, this quote says, I will not let age change me. I will change the way I age. And so that was a new concept for me. Each day of this span, of this age span, I get to change it and do whatever I want in the name of 50, but it doesn't have to be about 50, okay? So if it had my way, we wouldn't have an age, you know? You just, you're born, you die, you know, you just live in life. And so that's what I want to encourage you today. Write down all your thoughts of what you think you should be doing at that age and then change it and say, you know what? It don't matter if I'm 35. It don't matter if I'm 21. I'm not going to allow other people's expectations and the world's expectations of my age to define who I want to be. Change it, boo. Change it. You can do that. I'm hyped up about this quote because I feel like I'm reaching somebody right now. Come on, get up and change it. The Bible says you get new mercies every day. Okay, now I got my scripture out. Get that new mercy every day. Go get it. Chase it. It can be uh, something that didn't happen the day before, but guess what? You get a new one. You get a new, you get a do-over. You get a reset. Okay? So operate in the reset, whether it's sunflowering like me, whether it's a rewind, whether it's a redo, whether it's a reset. Don't let your age define you. Change the way that you age. Maybe that's to do something different the way you eat or exercise or how you think. Whatever it is, go get it, beloved, friends, family, booze, all of that. Go get it. What that song said, go get your blessing. Go get it. <laughs> all right, y'all. Put the collection down, y'all. We good. I don't need the air. <laughs> because I know I've been preaching. I'm sorry. I'm just fired up about this quote, because again, I will read it, because I, I keep referring to my notes, because I don't want to mess it up. I will not let age change me. I will change the way I age. I don't know who said this. From my research, it's unknown, but baby, you said something with this. This is, as I move through life, I want to make 
make sure that I am aging the way I want to, because I have a word. I can glean that into my spirit and into my energy. And this 50 energy, baby, ain't about the age. It's about how I feel, how I'm going to change it, and how I'm going to push it out to y'all. Okay? All right? Remember, fabulous since what's your, what's your year? Fabulous since when? Because I've been fabulous since 1971. Okay? That energy. That's what you get. And absolutely. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna stop right there because I feel some more coming. I feel some more coming. I'm gonna dial it back. I'm gonna bring my voice down. And I'm gonna thank you once again for being a part of this episode today. I hope something was said, something uh was gleaned from what I uh talked about today and this quote that's gonna energize you to your greatness to change the way that you age and pass it along. You know, once you got it, pass it along. Send it to your friend, your family member, send that energy to them, pay it for it absolutely positively and you'll be better for it. I appreciate you. I thank you. Um and I think that's all I have to say. I'm gonna just bring it down. So don't forget, wherever you go, whatever you do, make sure whatever you touch, make sure you do it absolutely positively and change the way that you age. That's it, folks. Thank you so much. Tune in next week. Love you.